Oh, would you look at that? Beautiful rain. Morning, everyone. Well, it's actually only quarter past seven, but Suzanne milked this morning, so she tends to uh, milk a bit earlier than me. And uh, the kids are up nice and early because of daylight savings, so um, we're all done. So I'm gonna spray on some urea. Well, I was going to until it started raining again, so hopefully this just blows over. But uh, yesterday we got all the silage wrap bagged up, so um, place back. I booked in to pick it up, so there's six bags there. So that'll just go whenever, whenever they can pick it up. I'm not sure when they'll come over. Um, but yeah, now the the grass is responding to a bit of moisture. You can see it's got that growing green. The cows were in here last night, so um, it's just been grazed, but. I'm actually gonna drill some more base into these paddocks. So this one and the one around the corner were done in turnips and they've had base drilled into them. But it's gone a bit patchy so I'm just, I've actually brought some more seed. Normally I wouldn't be putting grass in this late, but um, I just thought, well, I wouldn't mind getting a bit more seed in there so I'm just gonna have a go. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the plan with that. But you can see across there, that's uh, one of the turnip paddocks that was drilled in grass, permanent grass base, looks really good. And then same with this one over here, they're just, they're looking really good, this bit of rain that we've been getting. So we had 10 mils of rain Sunday morning, early Sunday morning I think, so yeah, been getting a good amount of rain. Anyways, we'll uh, carry on with the spray, get started. So um, they had done four loads while I was down south. So I've got enough mixed up here to do four this morning if I want to. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how much rain we get. I don't really want to be spraying in the rain because it'll wash it you know, off the leaf. It's tricky. I think there's a place for both spraying on fertilizer as well as doing the solid. So if I could afford to, I'd buy a tow and fert, but I wouldn't sell the spreader. I, I think I would keep the spreader as well. So. But, uh, yeah, I think there's a place for both, but yeah, I don't know. Still do a bit of thinking about it. So there's a company that got in touch with me called Advantage Plastics. I think they're down south somewhere, but they make a um, mixing and dissolving tank, which would be really good for dissolving the urea, dissolve it in a bulk amount. Um, but uh, we've just spent enough money lately. If we um, couldn't afford to buy something like that at the moment. Um, yeah, it's really starting to rain quite good. So there's another little YouTube channel started up, another New Zealand farming channel uh, called Belly Mullen Farms. Um, I think they're based in Taranaki, they're not too far from my brother. So um, yeah, check them out. The funny thing is this rain is not forecasted. So quite a bit of the rain we've been getting lately has not been forecasted. Um, so the next bit of rain that's actually forecast is not till Thursday, Friday, so yeah, don't know what's up with that. But it's good rain. Well that is really good rain. There's no wind and it's just real good soaking rain. That's what we want. So I'm not sure if I'm going to carry on. I've got a little bit more in the tank. I'll do this paddock behind me. So yeah, perfect. So with the urea that I've dissolved in these drums, it's about a quarter full or one third, one third full of urea dissolving at water, and then I'm splitting that in half, so getting two loads out of one drum, and then each sprayer load does about three to four hectares. So it's not real accurate, but it's not going on at a very, very, very heavy rate so yeah works for me so I'm just doing the new grass now get that a feed of in and uh, then I'm gonna go up and do the paddocks that I ripped put some in on those just yeah just feed the grass really so I'm only really spraying on this area because I'm still working on the spreader but I think in the long term 
I would like to just be spraying on your rear rather than putting on the granule form. Um, yeah. You just use less of it, I think. That's the main thing. So I've done half this paddock uh, that I've ripped. So this paddock here I ripped and then ended up putting annual in because it looked a bit messy, but it's actually turned out really good. Like most of the gaps, you can see where it's been ripped, but there's no dead plants here anymore. Um, and you can see there's plenty of annual. If you look further up there, you can see the lines. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but there's lines across there. And here's, here's the annual coming through here. But we're still a little way from grazing, I think you find that we're just here. Yeah, it's going to pull out of the ground. So um, we've got to leave it for a bit longer. It's actually ready, like the pasture that's in here, this is what would be grazing. So we're actually ready to graze it, but we can't because we've got the annual in there. So it's been a bit tricky with the rotation, trying to keep the cows slowed down but fed because of this, because of doing all this drilling. Um, I was talking to my dad, and I think he's right. We are in a bit of a drought. We're in a green drought up here. So this bit of rain that we've got today, and the 10 mils we had not long ago, have been really good rain for us. Um, yeah, so we're sort of, it's a bit weird, like we're sort of growing grass. We're growing grass with green, but we're not growing that much grass, not compared to last year. This time last year we were growing a lot more grass. Um, yeah, I've, on the way out when I go to the runoff I'll show you the crossing. And there's not a lot of water going down there, so that's sort of a, a sign that it's quite dry. And the stream that runs from, it starts up there beside the, the hut, comes down out of the trees there and runs all the way down that's actually dry all the way down to even the quarry the crossing the quarry crossing the new one has had no water go through it yet it's been dry um so yeah i'll show you i'll show you the other crossing later on So this is what we want to see with the annual. So you can see the annual coming up through there. So there's a, a patch there where there's been a bit of summer grass. And then if you go up here, this is where it's really working. This here was willow weed, so I sprayed it and then drilled it. And you can see all the lines of annual coming up through it. As well as the flat weeds, but you know, the, through the winter the cows will graze these and they'll disappear. Um, yeah, so that's you know, working really well. And there'll be plenty of annual in the actual grass. Let's see, pretty sure that's annual coming up through there. There's a bit. So, yeah. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Well, it's good to see that. It's actually quite warm. So, it is meant to be fine. So, I imagine we'll get some sunshine today, but that's perfect growing weather. Um, so, I got these two paddocks done here. So, that was a new grass. What well, is a new grass last? season last year's turnip paddock and I've done the new grass paddock there and then the two up on top there that I ripped so that's good there is one more load over there so I might do that soon maybe the other new grass paddock over there and maybe the annual go and have a look at that uh, or even could take one to the runoff could do might do that take a load to the runoff got time maybe I should some new air on the new grass at the runoff. The problem is that we still have a Golden Valley gap and you you can't do that many hectares when you're using the rosette so it's a quite a big drive like I've got to do the drive anyways in the ute but um, quite a big drive in the tractor. It doesn't take that long it's just I think about you know wear and tear you got tires you're probably gonna burn more, more fuel driving that to the runoff so, Haraki District Council, can you please get that road fixed? Because uh, I'm sick of driving around through town. The accountant was actually saying, you know, it'd be interesting to see the fuel costs for the next, for this season. Because we've had a whole season of not being able to go down through the Golden Valley. 
Um, so extra driving around the other way. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain. It's amazing what a bit of natural end does. The irrigator's been up the side here and look at the color of the grass growing. So this is the stream that uh, comes out of our farm. Yes, it's a little bit dirty. We have had some rain, so it was clean yesterday. But there's not much water coming out of there. So that's a, that's a good um, indicator on how dry it is actually up here. Even though we're green, there's not a lot of water coming out of there. So just had another nice drop of rain. Some of the runoff. And I've just sprayed the paddock over there where I had the the oopsie and didn't uh, have the seed going down the chutes. And it looks a lot better over here. You can see the annuals, the lines of annuals. Over there you can't see any of it, but it's because it's just been scattered everywhere. So I'm just going to spray these two paddocks and then that's Robin's blocks being sprayed with urea. And if there's any left over, I'll take it over to Bert's and spray it over there. That's the plan. So the heifer shifted and just um, had a, a catch up with the landowner about these shout about trees. They are a pain to have on land, especially when you're grazing. Um, I would like to see them reduced in height like what's over at Robins, just down to one, one shout about trimmer cut because um, yeah bit of a pain having to clean up the mess after. Yeah, can you hear the siren? Yeah. So I just picked Miriam up in the tractor. That's happened quite a bit since the the Golden Valley Gap has appeared. So um, yeah, they're pretty spoiled to get picked up in the tractor. I think Anderson, say, uh, Anderson and Miriam have been dropped off as well some days. So lucky them. Alright, so next little job is fix this up. I guess we've found the weak spot of the splitter. And that's these bolts here. So Suzanne was splitting this macrocarpa. And she was going through here or here. Because it's so sharp, it just pushes through anything. Like it'll go straight through end grain like that. You know, there's a knot. And the head gets a lot of, it does a lot of moving just to get through. So... Um, it puts a lot of pressure on these bolts here, so um, she's just sheared five of them straight off. And I'm, I'm just lucky I can undo that one, remove this, and then get those bolts out and then uh, reassemble it. So we've got new bolts here. And that one there got bent as well. There we go. That's given that's got a slight bend in it. I should be able to straighten that though with it. bad to get out so it could, could definitely be worse what's that that's for the goats So it's been a very good splitter to us so far. It's actually split quite a bit of wood. Suzanne does quite a bit. I do a little bit. Yeah, but it's all fixed, ready to go again. So yeah, we'll carry on. All right, it's more rain. It's clear out this way, and then it's quite hazy that way. It's not a very heavy shower, and there's there's hardly any wind, so it's really good. We need the rain. Bring it on. So yeah, gonna go and. Feed out some silage for the cows now and then shift them to their afternoon break.
Yeah, that is the plan. I've never noticed it before, but there is actually a lot of redwoods. There's three right there, like that one's nearly a, a meter at the base. And there's actually a lot, there's some up through there. And then on the other side, I knew there was a lot over here. This is where I, because on the other side of this bush is where I wanted to put the, build that uh, cabin. Which, well, hopefully we're going to do that this coming season. Uh, we're just going to go for it, get it built because then it'll actually have some income whereas just sitting as it is it's not making any money so just gonna bite the bullet get it done um, but yeah I love the redwoods they're quite majestic sort of trees they just grow big and straight up into the sky we also which I think it's pretty rare but we actually have some very big puri trees so there's one behind that gum and there's another big one up there beside that redwood so you might I think my dad was saying there's three or four of them in here. But yeah, still got another big uh, redwood there. So it's just, um, I was on Facebook before, I saw another ad for from Benley Nurseries over in Walton. Um, they are got trees that are ready. It's nearly that time again to buy some more trees. We'll probably buy another few hundred trees and plant them. Uh, yeah, so be doing that probably in the next month now that it's starting to get a bit wetter here they come there's the cows on the other side coming up don't trip over girl more beautiful rain yeah it's good we need it Oh, well, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm. See ya.